hello youtube welcome to a new video so apparently heat is the number one killer of automatic transmissions so today i'm going to show you how to install a transmission cooler on a car so let's get started so after doing a little bit of research i ended up picking this one up this is the hayden aluminium automotive 403 ultra cool tube and i will leave a link to this in the video description we're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox this and see what it comes with. Protects against burnout and boil overs. Installed in approximately 30 minutes. Doubles oil and equipment life. Eliminates costly repairs. All right, so let's see what's on the back. Here we have a chart on the life expectancy of your transmission. So if you let the transmission reach the 315 degrees mark this is the number of miles it will last and as you can see the lower the transmission temperature the longer life expectancy it could reach they also have a small chart right here for the available transmission coolers they have the 1401 for normal duty driving 1402 for normal duty driving also with uh, light towing for up to 2500 pounds the 1403 which is the one i have which is a uh, medium duty driving and they also have a 1404 and 1405 for even heavier duty uh, applications a manual right. this would be very handy for this installation fairly detailed as you can see we have a hose I wish this was slightly longer but this is what we are gonna have to deal with hopefully this will do the trick I'll tell you how long this is in a minute. And here is the cooler itself. I think they could have protected this a lot better than this. But this is all we have. Alright, so here are the fins. It is a uh, light. The soldering looks good. As you can see, it looks fairly well built. And here are the holes. We have a small bag with mounting tools, hose clamps, along with other stuff. So the trans cooler is about one foot long by seven and a half inches. So the hose is exactly 54 inches long. And here you have it. So we're going to go ahead and install this on the car. We're doing this on a 2016 Toyota RAV4 and uh, the level of the transmission fluid is very very important so to check the level we're gonna have to put the car in four jack stands as you can see to keep it leveled here is the transmission cooler I picked up some ATF automatic transmission fluid just because we have to top it off after we installed the cooler because basically we will be expanding the cooling circuit. I also have a pump so we can transfer the oil onto the transmission. Let's go ahead and jack up the car. All right, so the car is jacked up as you can see in both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the battery so we can have access to the oil cooler. 
the battery is out of the way here is the transmission cooler and warmer you have two hoses going into the warmer these are conducting uh, engine coolant as you can see and then these are the transmission lines right here one is an inlet and one is an outlet and the coolant is gonna go ahead and circulate in here obviously the two fluids do not mix and then it's gonna exchange heat warm the transmission fluid if it's needed or cool it down when it's needed so I'm guessing that the hose on the right right here is conducting the hot transmission fluid into the cooler and warmer and then out from the return line back to the transmission I'm gonna remove the tire so I have access to the fill plug all right so now this is clear I have clear access to the drain and the fill plug I always put the tire down here for good measure to identify the return line I will remove the hose that I suspect is carrying the hot uh, transmission fluid I would put it in the bottle and then I will start the car for a split second and if the bottle gets filled with ATF now I know that the other hose is the return line so we're doing this because we want the hot transmission fluid to go into the stock cooler first before going into our external cooler this way we will have the most optimal uh, cooling so I'm not sure if you're gonna make the difference on camera but this is the two oils the left one is the brand new oil and the right one is the one inside of the transmission and it's uh, not too bad it's a brand new transmission so I didn't expect it to be any browner than this so we want to go ahead and uh, top it off at the end anyway so we will have more new ATF in there we have the zip ties foam pads hose clamps and the adapter for the zip ties we want to go ahead and mount this right here this is the best place for it as you can see And from here we're gonna go ahead and add the rubber foam pads right. I think I'm gonna to have to reconsider the zip ties I'm gonna to have to remove them and put them at the right place where I can grab it from the back behind the fans because there is no clearance in here I think I'm gonna just use two zip ties and then these are used to secure the zip ties from the back All right. the hot coolant is getting inside the stock cooler from this hose then it gets out of the return line but before going back to the transmission we're gonna connect that to our external cooler and from that external cooler we're gonna connect it now to uh, the transmission this stock cooler cannot really cool the transmission lower than 190 degrees because that's where uh, the coolant is meant to get cooled down to when the fans turn on so when the coolant temperature reaches 203 degrees in uh, the case of this car of course the fan is going to kick in and it's going to cool down the coolant uh, back to 190 degrees and the fans are going to turn off so with a coolant temperature of 190 degrees it's uh, safe to say that uh, that's not going to be able to cool the transmission lower than 190 degrees because the coolant is constantly trying to match the coolant temperature and the ATF temperature. 
so adding an external cooler would really help when it comes to uh, further cooling down the transmission so I added the new hose this one is gonna go to the transmission cooler let's secure it with the hose clamp this is clamped on this hose is gonna go out here I routed it through here and then it's gonna come out of here and I'm gonna cut it right here and insert it onto the transmission cooler this is connected now we are gonna connect another hose right here and then we're gonna connect that onto the transmission obviously we're gonna have to remove the other hose so we can connect the return line back to the transmission so here is the cooler installed so now I'm gonna have to connect the return line back to the transmission but before we do that I'm gonna do the bottle trick again and potentially clear any debris and impurities from the new cooling system because the hoses usually spend a lot of time in the warehouses and they can collect dust once we put the hose in the bottle we're gonna pump the oil from the stock cooler into our new transmission cooler and then back to the return line and into the bottle this way we'll make sure that the new cooling system is clear of any debris All right, so that's done. We have a trans cooler installed. I will also put a diagram on the screen of how everything is set up in case you want to install one. All right, now we're done doing everything. We're gonna go ahead and put the battery tray back on, install the battery and put everything back together. So since we expanded the transmission cooling circuit, we're going to remember to top off the transmission fluid. If you don't do this, you may run into transmission issues. To correctly check and top off the transmission fluid on this specific car, your transmission fluid must be uh, between 104 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. For that, I'm going to use this X tool. I made a video about it a few months ago. I will link a video if you want to check it out. All right, so we have the right temperature. All right, so I'm going to remove the fill plug. And then I'm going to remove the drain plug. this time we didn't have anything because a lot of the transmission oil went inside the cooler so we expanded the cooling circuit that's why nothing is coming out so now we're gonna go ahead and top it off and then I'm gonna inject that into the transmission gonna keep adding until we have some dripping into the pan all right so we have some dripping out that's good I have three quarts left but I want to keep one away just in case I need to top off the uh, oil later so I will be using uh, two quarts and add it to the one quart that I just put in for a total of three quarts all right so in order to put in the two quarts extra I'm gonna have to drain two quarts so there is a small tube inside that you have to remove if you want to drain most of the oil a six millimeter socket
that's good then I'm gonna put it back in all right gonna screw that back in snug and it stops when it stops it's good that's plastic you don't want to over tighten it we're gonna put a pan back and then we're gonna heat up the transmission again and get back to it Please refer to your car's owner's manual on how to correctly check and top off the transmission fluid. Not doing so may result in costly repairs. as you can see we have the slow drizzle so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the drain plug back on that is 16 pound foot all right next is the fill plug Alright, so we are all set. Next, I'm gonna cycle through the gears. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. So after doing all of this, you wanna make sure you take it for a short and slow drive to make sure that the gears are shifting properly. Then you're gonna come back and check the transmission fluid level again and top it off if need be. I will be making a follow-up video on this transmission cooler so remember to subscribe so you don't miss that. This was my video on how to install a transmission cooler on a car. If you have any questions drop it in the comment section. Thank you for watching guys. I will see you on the next one.